Let's have a look and see if the worms like the t-shirt that I gave them. Hello again. So this is the worm bin we set up around 12 weeks ago, might be 13 weeks ago now, which I fed two t-shirts to. I've just moved it out of the very leaky plastic greenhouse and that's the cardboard that it was sitting on. And you'll notice there's quite a lot of escapees and this is in essence vermi cardboard. The only food that was there was the sheets of cardboard that the bin was sitting on. Now I suspect that those worms are not actually from or a lot of them are not from the t-shirt bin. I suspect that these are actually escapees from the worm tower. But what I'm going to do is, seeing as they have decided to leave the lovely tower, I'm going to class them as volunteers for t-shirt composting duty. So I'll collect these up, I'll put some fresh cardboard back down there, and they can go into the bin with the t-shirts in. The reason I say I don't think that they're from uh, this bin is because there's not a lot of um, casts along the side and if there was that many worms escaping I'd have expected to see a lot more. There's always casts in the corner. That, the, the sides are actually very dry so I, I really don't think this came from them. Now when I set this bin up, if you go back and look at the first video, I put the two t-shirts into the bin but then it got extremely cold and there's absolutely no heat. I think I showed you in one of the videos it was actually colder in the greenhouse than it was outside. So I took the heavier of the t-shirts and I put it on top of the pile of manure. This bin is made up of just horse manure. Now what's really fascinating is where the t this heavier t-shirt has been in contact with the manure, the worms have actually been eating it. You can see all of the holes there. They're actually eating around the lettering and this, they've done this when, with um, laminated cardboard that I've added to bins from time to time. They actually eat all the cardboard underneath the laminate and just leave the laminate. But uh, that was fascinating. Th this t-shirt is riddled with holes. So where it's been in contact with the top layer of manure, the worms have obviously been eating it. You can see the Twitter and Facebook logo is hollow. Maybe they're on Facebook and Twitter tweeting about their experiences and what a horrible worm farmer they they work for who's just left them in a cold wet greenhouse all winter with just one t-shirt between a thousand worms and that's another interesting point it's, I just want to see how the population is doing because uh, I started this off with the escapees from the, the the worms that were in the sump if you remember and I just want to see how they're doing they should be multiplying, although I expect everything will be at a much slower rate, just given the season that we're in here in the UK and the cold. So the temperature of this bin is currently about 6 or 7 degrees. That's the temperature of the bedding. It's about 9 degrees out. So the worms, not many worms to the right-hand side of the bin. This is where the t-shirt was buried. So this is the bit we're interested in now. So 12 weeks on, let's have a look and see how this t-shirt is doing. I want to take it out quite carefully because I don't want to add any rips to it. I, I want it to be just as the worms have processed it, if they are processing it. And it looks like they very definitely are. They're all over this. There's going to be no other food source added to this. So there's tons of food in the amount of manure I added. And the only thing that's going to be added to this bin is clothing. So we started with a clean white 100% cotton t-shirt. The dyed t-shirt is supposed to be 100% cotton as well. But it's obviously got dye in it. And it's obviously got... Um, mind you, that white one was probably bleached. So the worms are definitely congregating much more to the left-hand side than the right. So they are, they are treating the t-shirt as a as a source of food. So yeah, the heavier t-shirt, it's uh, also cotton, but it's it's dyed and it's got that plastic or rubberized lettering on it. So let me just open this out now and we'll see what it looks like. Well, it's recognizable as a some form of clothing, but they have been eating a lot of it. There's really just the um, heavy seams for the neck there. You see the well in. Now I, I expect there's other factors at play here as well. The, the bedding, because the greenhouse leaks, is wetter than I would like it to be. So this t-shirt is in um, 
effectively stored wet manure, which is also full of microbes, and they will no doubt be breaking down the cotton as well. And then the worms are consuming the microbes. That's really what they're after. They're not too interested in the T-shirt. But it does show that this, this is 12 weeks later, 12 or 13 weeks later. And there's a, a little bit of the back left. The seams for the hem, the sides, the armpits and the neck where they're, they're reinforced with material but most of it certainly more than 50% of it is gone and there's nothing to suggest that the t-shirt being in the bin is causing the worms any problem now as the weather warms up I would expect to see the population of worms increase quite dramatically I'm not looking at this stage for any cocoons or baby worms, but I can just see as a, a cursory look, there's an awful lot of immature worms there. So they are breeding in the bin, despite it being so cold, and despite their only additional source of food being the cotton t-shirt. So I'm really pleased with that. It does show you that if it's 100% natural fibre, cotton, wool, silk, feeding it to your worm bin is an option. Now that's not ideal because ideally you would um, hand it down or give it to a charity shop if it's in really good condition. Failing that you could re you'd recycle or repurpose your uh, the, the clothing to make rags or if you're good with a sewing machine I suppose you could um, create another piece of clothing with it. Uh, but fa when all those options are not possible you can compost it and you can certainly compost it with worms. I'm very, I'm really, really pleased with this. I, I thought, I didn't think after 12 weeks, look at that hole there. I mean, it's massive. I've turned this the other way around now just because it, it'll be interesting to see. We come back in four weeks' time and have a look to see what they've done to the back. But look, they've got, oh gosh, maybe they've got a website as well because look, there's www. Oh goodness. Those worms now are probably on the internet, Twitter, Facebook, telling the whole world what it what a, what a terrible worm daddy I am, leaving them with just their own clothes to eat. I mean, how horrific is that? All they've got to eat is clothes. You can see all the little holes there. The, the, whole, the whole garment is punctuated with, with holes where the worms have been working their way through. I, I, I'm just intrigued with the, with the hollow up for the Facebook and Twitter. It's fascinating that they've eaten around it. And I just want to see, I want to, I'm going to handle that little piece very carefully because I want to see if they actually just leave the lettering when we get to that stage. So I'll come back in four weeks and we'll have a look and see how they're doing. But for a first look, a uh, first update, I'm very pleased with this. So I'll leave it there. As always, thanks for watching. Bye for now. Bye.